Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rachel's Page Turners. Today I want to talk about my 2018 New Year resolutions. I know this video is rather late in getting up, but one of my New Year resolutions was to take like better self-care, like eat better, relax more, and that meant taking like an unscheduled break like the first two weeks of the month. Because I just, I've been so busy and I just didn't really have it in me to film and edit and at least not have it in me to do all that and still be relaxed and getting enough sleep. I really do need to take better care of myself. I had a root canal scare like a couple months ago and it turns out I just needed to fix three of my fillings. And it was just, it was really scary. So I do, I do know that I need to take better care of myself physically and mentally. So that was one New Year resolution. I guess I'll lead off with the next one with my Goodreads goal for the year. Last year I wanted to do 50, kind of keep it easy, keep it low key, and if I read more, I read more. And so that's what I want to do again this year. My reading goal for the year is 50 books. Uh, last year I, I had said 50 books and I ended up reading 75 books. I do plan on actually doing a December monthly wrap up, so just keep an eye on for that. Uh, the next resolution is uh, another uh, bookish resolution, and that is just to continue to read more diversely. I I've been better about it this past year. Not as good as I wanted to be, but I have been better. My next resolution is yet again another bookish resolution. If you've been on my channel for a while, you've noticed that I haven't done any monthly wrap-ups in a long time. In fact, the last one I did was for March, and that one I filmed back in October, November. The goal was to actually do a, a, a ton of wrap-ups to, to be on time for January, but obviously that didn't happen, and I ended up taking two acting classes and working a lot on November and December, and it's like, you know what? It's a new year. I'm not gonna stress about uh, old wrap-ups that I could have done. So what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna do a monthly wrap-up for December and then in, in the bio, I'm just gonna leave like a Google Docs like list of everything that I read for the year. And if you're interested in checking more about that title, I've created a, a 2017 read shelf on my Goodreads page. And like with connections to actually keep up with my monthly wrap-ups, I actually wanna do reviews. I never seem to have time to sit down, write a review and then film it. So I hope to do more of that. I tend to do a lot of like haul videos on my channel and if I don't know if you can see but that's my Christmas bag. That's everything that I got for Christmas. Oh stop those facing please. And I'm, I'm gonna haul, haul that as soon as I finish with this video. And my last reading resolution for the year it would be to just read the books that I currently have. I brought back a ton of books from last year's BookCon and I've only read maybe a handful of them and BookCon is quickly approaching and I'm going. So I'm going to read, I'm gonna read the books that I have this year. And when BookCon comes around, I'm gonna have to be more picky with what I bring back because last year I had, I had no self-control. Uh, my next New Year resolution was to continue to work on my channel so it can grow and flourish. I've recently noticed that I have over 400 subscribers now on my channel. That is freaking amazing. Thank you all to all of you who subscribed and to those who actually watch my videos. Thank you. You guys are super sweet and I really appreciate the support. And I just want to like continue to do better in regards to making content. In fact, I've actually invested in a new camera and a new light that's uh, I know the the light I got through Prime, so that, that should be here any day now. But the camera is like, oh, it could be here within three to 30 days. I'm like, that's that's a big gap. Why, is, why such a big gap? But it was a discounted camera, so I really shouldn't complain that much. So this next resolution is tied into this last resolution. I want to be more involved with BookTube, actually leave comments and respond to comments. I'm terrible with that. Like someone will leave a comment on my video and two months later I'll finally respond to it. I'll do better, I promise. My next new year resolution is just to continue working on career goals. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but I have aspirations of being an actor. So I've taken a couple acting classes. I actually have an, an acting seminar planned for next week. I invested a lot in clothing the last couple months. I'm actually going to do a couple of clothing hauls for you guys. Uh, I plan on doing like uh, the librarian's lookbook type of playlist. But clothing has a lot to do with the acting industry because they people care what you look like. And I, I just know for a fact that I'm just going to have to invest more time and money into my career aspirations 
That being said, my next resolution is to save money. I've spent a lot of money in the last couple months. So a lot of money has been spent, but no, I'm done. I'm now done. So the goal is now to save money. Uh, I'm getting married in September, so I need money for that. Uh, and John and I plan on moving out to California in 2019. So we need money. We need money for that too. So the goal is to save money now that I spent all this money. And my last New Year resolution, number 10. This is something that I tell myself every stinking year. I, I wanna learn French. I took French in, in college, so I, I know how to order breakfast and ask where the bathroom is. But that's pretty much the extent of it. And every year for the for the first like three, four months, I'm like really good about practicing French because I have the, the Duolingo app. So I've been really good about that. And then the next half of the year, I don't even look at it. So I, I really truly want to have like at least a conversational understanding of French before the year is out. So I've re-downloaded Duolingo and I've got these items from the library. I got this uh, French beginner intermediate, like, oh goodness, the window is glaring, uh, like French lessons thing that I got from the library. And uh, oh, French Express, I got that too. So that is everything that I hope and plan for for 2018. And um, if I complete them, that's awesome. But if, if not, I'm not gonna really stress about it because like I said, the goal for me, really, the main goal is to take better care of myself and that means keeping my anxiety in check. So if I don't complete some of these, that's totally okay. Except for the money thing, I, I kinda do need to save money. So let me know down in the comments below if you have any New Year resolutions yourself. Totally okay if you don't. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.